sales training, and uh, we're also going to talk about follow-up. And uh, I've got something put together for you here, and uh, I think it'll help. Can everybody? Uh, I, everybody said they could hear me okay. Everything's good there. Um, somebody's desktop looks better. I know, right? Especially. You know, maybe some of you know, maybe you don't. I've been doing a launch all week, so, you know, that stuff gets crazy. But, um, all right, so let's get started. Let's talk about uh, sales. Real quick, my name is uh, Sid Michael. I spent um, 14 years in retail in the car business, but when I left that, I uh, started a direct mail company and started doing super sales. So I worked in uh, car dealerships all over the country. I actually worked in 37 different states. Um, and I've worked in over 100 stores. Um, we would go in and I would take over the sales department for a week. I would, uh, in some cases, pay all the advertising up front because they would pay me based on the gross profit. We would take over the store and uh, generally we could sell in, in five days uh, what they would sell in a month. And uh, you know, we would do a lot of training for them and, uh, and, and then you know, show by example, which I think is the best way to, to run business anyway. You always want to lead by example. but. Um, yeah, a lot like Carlock Rescue, and actually, we uh, we ran across some of those guys a lot. But um, <clears throat> what it did do, though, is it allowed me to get in front of uh, you know thousands of people, and and I've closed thousands of deals that are multi thousand dollar deals. And I understand kind of how people work, and and I understand running my own businesses, kind of how what it took to to drive business and to keep yourself up and running. You know, so. Um, I want to try and you know convey that to you guys uh, now or you people to now, and I want to try and uh, help you out as much as you can. Um, let's uh, let's talk about it. What's your process? Ask yourself. I, I want everybody to put in the question box and uh, and be honest. Um, how many contacts or touches did you do last week? How many people did you call out on to contact? You can throw it in the questions box. There's no right or wrong answers. Um, I know some people are hitting more than others, and that's okay. I see a lot of zeros. I saw 50. Good job, Kathy. None. Four. Good. Okay. Um, 12. Okay. I've got solutions for a lot of this, and I'm going to show you. Um, how many of you are just not super, super sales-oriented people? Let me just get a, let me get a show of hands. Who? Who has sales in their blood? Who can thank their mom for giving them some sales blood? And who of them, yeah, just kind of don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, that happens. Nathan, not great. Rusty, that's good. That means you can come back. I love soft selling. I agree. Not a salesman. That's okay. You can position yourself. Well, what I'm going to show you right now in this webinar is I'm going to show you a couple key tactics that's going to make the worst salesperson some of the best salespeople. I'm going to put you in the top 12% of salespeople in the country just based on what you're going to learn off this webinar today. Um, I'm also going to show you, um, if you're not a super, super salesperson, certain things you can do to, to make yourself a great salesperson. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you and go into even more detail um, how you can have people actually call you and then that's not really selling. You're just providing, and that makes it a little bit warmer and easier to, to do. Um, uh, let's, uh, so everybody want to know the silver bullet to, to, to getting business started, to getting your business off the ground and, and rocking? You want to know the, the secret, what's guaranteed to make it work, what's going to make you successful? Take an action. I recommend. In, in any and all scenarios, you have to be doing something, right? Uh, you, you need to be sending at least 50 emails a, a, a week. You need to be doing 10 to 20 walk-ins a week. And you need to be doing 25 cold calls. Somebody just said stop learning and take an action, and that, that is so true. I mean, you got to pick what you're going to do, what you're going to focus on, and then be the best damn person you can be at that point at that one action. And we're not going to talk about what you're selling or we might, you know, talk about it a little bit later, but we're not going to talk so much about what you're selling because you can choose what you what you love and what you what you feel passionate about. That's that's what I personally would uh would would, would recommend any of you to do, whether it's PPC or AdWords or 
you know, whatever you've been trained to do, you, you know, you, the one thing that's important is you got to be passionate about it. You got to love it. You got to you got to be able to talk about it all day to anybody, anytime, and 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 the sales part will come easier. But um, <clears throat> fifty emails, ten to twenty walk-ins, twenty-five cold calls. You need to do five to twelve follow-ups. Don't stop the first time somebody says, "Hey, I'm busy." Don't don't let that take the wind out of your sail. And that happens to a lot of us, right? So you, you just feel like they don't want you in there. It's not that they don't want you in there. They just have pre, pre, you know, authorized commitments. You know what I mean? They have pre commitments that they're honoring sometimes. It doesn't mean they don't want to speak with you. Sometimes you just got to persistently follow up. And I'm going to show you the cool thing about uh, 5 to 12 follow-ups coming up. When you walk into a... Uh, into a, a, a business or when you're speaking to somebody about your your product there's a simple rule and thumb that I can tell you no matter what no matter what we're talking about whether it's reputation or or search or local or any of that stuff um, value over price equals sell if you can't uh, if you can't if you can't build the value in your product you're never gonna you're never gonna equal a sale. If you do learn how to, to push your product and, and, and put some value in it, you're gonna find the sale to be easy. So now you're not really selling, you're just you're just positioning where your where your value is. You know what I mean? So to give you an idea, so like I sell reputation to a car dealer and I, I speak to them and ask them, hey, listen, you know, you, you, you've got, you know, a bad reputation at, at two different sites. You're doing okay on dealerator.com. You know, let me ask you something. Knowing that 91% of people that walk into a dealership are either, is either looking at the car or the dealership online, you know they're seeing this bad reputation. Do you think it's deterring somebody? Well, maybe a little bit. Great. Well, you sell 100 cars a month, you know, or 200 cars a month, whatever the number is. You know, what can you honestly say it's it's costing you. Let's be conservative here. And they'll say, I don't know, 10%. Okay. So it's costing you 10 to 20 car deals. Let's be even, and always take their number and cut it in half. If you're in a good niche and they have a high enough dollar product, you can always, it'll always justify itself on return on, value, or return on investment. Let, let's cut that in half. Let's say you're only missing five to 10 car deals, right? Let's, let's use half of what we're speculating because I, I want to be considerate to you here. I know for a fact you said, you, you know, you're running 2,000 a copy on selling cars. So you're missing between ten and twenty thousand dollars. I mean, what bank would you go to that you would could invest money and make nine hundred percent on your money? What what is it worth to you to to recoup twenty grand? Would you would you spend five thousand to recoup twenty grand? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to pay you five grand for reputation. Well, I'm not asking you to. But what 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 would be a good investment? Would you want to make twenty five percent? See, this is soft sales. Would you want to make twenty five percent? Would you want to make four? You know. 400%, what do you want to make? And when they speak, you've now built value in your product. Now you're talking about what's in it for them, which is what people really want to talk about the whole time anyway. They honestly don't care about what you've been, where you, what have you done, how old you are, any of that crap. They want, to, they want to know what's in it for them, right? We're all like that. The last thing, that I, or the, the uh, second thing I was going to tell you here, take ownership. If you are a you know golden tricket trinket salesman right you need to let every single person that you know that you're a golden trinket salesman it needs to be on your Facebook you need to have a, on your web page can't have have a web page designed you need to have a Facebook uh, page right you need to have everything possible get a LinkedIn profile you know tweet Put some Instagram photos up. Whatever you got to do, you need to let every single person you possibly can know exactly who and what you're doing. You have to take ownership into your product. You have to let everybody know. Um, real quick, let me uh, let me see if we got some good questions here. Real quick, can we go back and, uh, to uh, Sid? Can we go back to uh, price over value? Because I tried to follow the the math. So you're saying. If they say 10% improvement, you say cut it in half to 5%, and every number is good. But um, 
it, hang on, let me turn the Skype off. People are freaking out over Skype. Go ahead. Yeah, I hear you. So if they, if you cut it in half, so 10%, you know, is pretty easy to do, correct? So, and 5% with a high valued service is still pretty good. But you said any number is good. So I didn't follow the calculation at that point. Well, like I justify what it's worth to the client, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, you know, you want to say, you know, what are you missing? You know, if it's a, you know, even if it's a $200 item, just simple math, and I know I go through math fast, I can't help it, that's the way my brain works, but even if it's a $200 item, right, and, yeah. and you get them to admit how many deals they truly are, you know, losing because of this bad reputation, you know, how many ladies are not coming and getting oil changes because they've read these horrible reviews you have, right? Yeah, so you, you, you said, okay, 10%, everybody can believe 10%. And then you say, um, say let, let, assume, whatever, let assume let assume this five percent. Right, whatever whatever number they say, always cut it in half because then you're kind of like being very humble, and they feel like they're getting um, uh, they feel like they're getting over on it. You know what I mean? They feel like they're getting more for their money. So you're it's saying, good. what would five percent doing for your business? And right. five percent is very easy to accomplish with for example, with good reputation or whatever you offer. With good reputation, with, you know, search, PPC, or SMS, mobile, mobile website, yeah, 5%. Yeah. With some internet marketing, 5% is pretty easy. Yep. But what you're doing is you're building the value in the price, right? You're doing a million dollar walk around is what we used to call in the car business. Right before you would present a price to somebody, you would make sure that you took them on a test drive did a five-point walk around where they go under the hood and they walk around and give you the interior features and show you the trunk. Everybody's kind of probably done that before. That's what they're doing. They're doing a million-dollar walk around so you see how valuable that car is so you know what you're negotiating before you present them with a price. And the purpose of that is to build value over price. And anything in life is value over price. Your wife or husband, value over price. Your friend, value over price. Getting on this webinar with Jack, value over price. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if there's not value, it ain't worth the price. You ain't gonna be. You're not gonna do it, right? So psychologically, we're all wired to understand value over price. Once you kind of get that, then it, it'll it'll put you above the rest in, in negotiation and in uh and and pushing you know people through. So let's talk uh, real quick about the truth, um, about some follow-up, right? Because that's uh, what's going to change your change your deal, right? So uh, let me get this thing out of the way. Um, did you know that 80% of sales are actually won on the 5th to 12th contact? That's why I mentioned going 5 to 12 contacts. Yet 48% of people you meet at a business networking or trade show events, will never follow up with you past the first conversation. That's sad, right? So knowing that, you don't want to be that guy, right? You don't want to be the, the person that forgets and doesn't follow up. But that's the typical lazy salesperson, right? 48 of uh, salespeople never will follow up with a prospect. 25% of salespeople only make a second contact and then stop. And then 12% of salespeople actually make more than three contacts. So right off the bat, you, you're telling yourself, if you can make three plus contacts, whether it's with email, a, a quick phone call, uh, dropping coffee off by there, dropping off donuts. I'm a big fan of dropping off donuts in the mornings. Um, if it's any sort of contact, you're putting yourself in the top 12% of salespeople in the, in the world. You don't have to be a, a super salesman. You don't have to be a quick, witty talker. You don't have to have slicked back hair. You just got to have proper work ethic and follow up. That's a positive thing in an offline business, I promise. So what's the, what's the phrase of the day? Everybody, we got to learn to start following up. Um, let's talk about what you want to do on your first contact with somebody. What's important? 
you want to you want to network with them with the with the specific intent of setting the stage for your follow up. Any don't let somebody say, uh, yeah, just send me an email and I'll check it out. Because you just lost you just lost control. Don't accept that. Don't be so wound up and nervous that you're going to accept giving me a, I'll email you my information and let me think about it based on on my my own actions. No, 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 no. no. Hey, I'll, I'll send you that email. In fact, it's easier for me just to bring it by. I've got some information I'll print off for you and uh, I'll bring it by tomorrow. What time, what time are you available for me to show it to you? Keep control. Set the stage for your next follow-up. Everybody kind of gets that. Improve your first contact uh, conversions. Um, you set the stage with uh, for future conversations. Increase the number of prospects you're in conversation with. If you're seeing four clients a week, start seeing eight clients a week. You you, you should set your calendar every 15 minutes. And if somebody blows you off, instead of getting on the Facebook and, and or you know getting in one of the groups or anything like that, going, man, I had a great appointment today and the guy blew me off. You should be ecstatic because it gives you an extra 30 minutes to 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 to, to get to your next appointment. You get a chance to actually go get Chick Fil A and you don't have to eat the McDonald's on the road because you don't have time to go two exits up to get the Chick Fil A. Right? You you want that 15 minutes. So I I set my day calendars 15 minutes. Today, I gave myself 45 minutes to go down and ride a wave runner on the lake. <laughs> I just got it Monday. so. But the point is, is that I set myself everything in 15 minutes, right? Keep yourself packed up. Develop a win-win relationship that engages prospects and builds connections. Meaning, you know, I mean, how many times have you said, like, and I'll use car dealers, for example. You know, when you're talking to somebody... You know, say, hey, listen. You know, you tell them what you got involved, and say, by the way, my brother's looking for a car. If we do business, I'll bring him by, and maybe we can do some business. It's a win-win for both of you. Hey, by the way, my uh, my sister needs a root canal. You're at a dentist office, right? You know, if you know, if we sign up and do business, I, I'll, I'll bring her out here, and 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 you can meet her, and and maybe she'll do a root canal with you. Make it a win-win relationship when you engage prospects to build connections. Hey, um, I've got a free consultation that I can do on your, you know, with with one of these my rep manager type products. I got a free consultation. I normally charge forty nine four ninety nine. I'll go ahead and waive the fee if you'll meet with me tomorrow. What do you want in your coffee? Now you're asking what do you want in their coffee. You're not asking them for a meeting. If they tell you what they want in their coffee, that means they want the meeting, right? Discover how to pull your prospects forward to the second conversation and beyond. Hey, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get that information for you when we when we meet next week. Do you want me to go ahead and bring the invoice? Right. Is this in the is it is this in the second conversation you ask for the invoice or? No, I mean, if the guy's like, listen, give me some information. Yes. I'm gonna bring that information to you tomorrow. Should I go ahead and bring the on contractor invoice? I don't contract, but if you have a contract or a worker agreement or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. you know. You want me to go ahead and bring the uh, invoice with me? That's you're finding out are they a buyer? You're you're pushing them without saying, "Hey, are you going to buy today?" You're just asking them, "Should you bring the invoice with you?" Yeah, yeah. Right. So you know, like if you if you're selling a car on the side of the road, you would say, "Hey, you know, do you want me to bring the title?" If the guy says, "Yeah, bring the title," that means he's ready to buy the darn car, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to discover how to pull your prospect forward to the second conversations and beyond. You you want to you want to push them. Push them into to the next conversation. Don't ever let them control the conversation by pushing you out. Saying, hey, I'll call you back, that's pushing you out. Hey, send me an email, that's pushing you out. Hey, leave your information and I'll read it. Uh-uh. That ain't how it's going to work, my friend. And then the last thing is, is build the, the, the know you, like you, trust factor, right? Let them know. If they ask you a question you don't know, say, man, I don't know the answer to that, but I'll find out. And I'm not going to guess because we're not going to start our relationship off like that. I, I'm, I could be lying if I guessed. That's uh, going to build trust with people. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. On the on the previous point, what I typically do is, um, I say, when would you like to have it done? So if they ask for a service or website or mobile, I'm not asking if they want. Me, shall, shall we go ahead? I said, when would you like to have it done? And that realized them 
they want to have it done yesterday. They only want to find out who, but when you ask them the question, actually, they, they get reminded, I want to get it done as fast as possible. So that is another way uh, to say, hey, let's uh, go forward and, uh, and uh, pay me. You know, because when you have it done, okay, so la before I move forward, I need your credit card, you know, so that's, that's me too. But to yep, that's to good. That's, that's, that's exactly right, Jack. And, and you know, you, you say things, and I'll use, because, you know, my, I sold cars and stuff, so you'd never say, they taught us this in the original, right, in the, in the old days. They'd say, what's it going to take for you to buy today? You know, you hit somebody <laughs> right between the eyes like that, right? Well, you know, it got to the point where you'd, you would, when you would go on a test drive, you could say something, uh, you know, like, hey, you know, you just park it right up front where we got it, or if you really want to go inside and talk numbers, just park it up uh, to the front door. Yeah. Now, <laughs> just based on where they park the car yeah. is whether or not they want to deal with you. It's nothing to do it. Don't ask them, hey, do you want to buy this car today? Ask them, you know, hey, can you see yourself driving this for the next three years? Oh, yeah, man, I love this car. Great. What is that telling you? <laughs> and, and, and it also depends if they have contacted you or you contacting them. So if they call you or they contact you, then... I'm going to assumption they want me. So I'm not going to explain everything what I'm going to do. I, I just say, okay, yeah, you know, when would you like to come in? Or, or uh, when do you need it? Or um, uh, would uh, tomorrow 3 o'clock uh, good for you? Something like yeah. that. So you, you're going to, in the assumption, they want you. They need you. So I'm not going to do all the hard work from the beginning. I'm just going to say, hey, yeah, uh, yeah. We can start tomorrow. Yeah, right. Um, I, I see. I, so I want to answer a couple of questions. Is, is this technique a little pushy? It's not pushy. It's honest. You, you know, what, you got to let somebody know exactly where you're at, right? Don't. There's no hoodwinking somebody, and then all of a sudden they wake up with with your service, right? So, you know, let them. Don't be afraid to let them know you're there because you want their business. People like to see people that are that are trying. I mean. I don't know if y'all have these guys in your town, but they, they're here in Atlanta a lot. These little kids go around selling peanut butter brittle, and they've been trained by, like, Joe Verdi because they use closing questions. I mean, they're literally, like, little six-year-old closers. I buy. The, I don't like peanut butter brittle, but I buy it from them every time because those kids ask for the business. I love it, right? Even even when you walk out and the girl selling Girl, girl Scout cookies is like, hey, come here. <laughs> You're like, all right, fine. I didn't know I was going to get some you know, thin mints, but now here we go. You know what I mean? You're going to buy them. Don't be afraid to ask for the business. That's not pushy. It's, it's, you know, it's letting them know you want their business. You are a professional, and you deserve to be paid for your professionalism. So, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let that, uh, let that black out. So, hey, so it, somebody else. It is right. also based on uh, what you started with, you want to be a specialist in a certain niche or with a, with a uh, service where you where you feel good with that you're doing it, okay? So yeah. automatically, by doing that, you are the specialist. So uh, with everybody you speak with, you know 99% more of the people where you speak with. So that's not an, the question of that you shouldn't get paid for that specialty. So the only question is, when do they need it? When do they choose you? But um, when you are in discussion, you you just say you just want to have that own feeling. I can help you, you know. And let's get yeah. started. I mean, as a business owner and and somebody who's hired and fired and 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 hired, you know, ad agencies and 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 advertised and did a lot of business myself, you know. In reality, what people really, truly, truly, truly want, they want to pass the football to somebody that'll score the touchdown. You know what I mean? They, you, you don't mind spending a thousand dollars for reputation or something. You just want to see it get done, and you don't want to have to manage it yourself, or you'd have done it yourself without paying somebody. So, giving people that reassurance that listen, you know, you can use cookie cutter approach, or the are the people that call you on the phone from the hot, you know, the the boiler room call centers, and, and maybe their price is better. But they ain't me. I'm a rock star, and I know this area, this local area, better than anybody else. And I can make it happen. So if you want to do the same thing all your competitors are using, hire them. Save your money. Might you might not get much results, but if you want somebody that's going to guarantee results, you want me. You know, I would be like, okay, I like you. You're in. You know, 
Uh, real quick, somebody else just said something that would fit. That's going to fit with what we're talking about today a lot. Um, hi, I'm having a lot of. Oh no, not the audio problem, person. It's a. Uh, <laughs> um, hey Sid, I know follow-ups. This is from Tracy Michael, actually. Uh, hey Sid, I know follow-ups are important. Problem uh, is, I'm not full-time offline yet. I work full-time, and work takes me out traveling. Very common problem among a lot of people. We're going to show you something here in a minute that's going to help exactly you, Tracy. But uh, do you have a process that can be best used for that type of situation? I can tell you right now, nothing but the best professionals in the world send thank you cards. When you meet with somebody and you sit down, you should have a thank you card in the mail before you get home. And if they had a receptionist or, or a gatekeeper, that that person should ex should be higher priority to get a thank you card because a gatekeeper or a, a, a receptionist or somebody at the front can become your best friend in the world. She can make the deal. She can tell you exactly what they want. You know what I mean? So thank you cards is something easy. And if you're traveling a lot, then you can always mail out thank you cards. Emails, you can always email. You want to contact. It doesn't mean you have to walk in every time. I personally like face-to-face, -face, belly to belly as much as possible, but you know, let's face it, if you're traveling and got another job, you don't have an option. So you can use you can use emails or, or thank you cards or anything like that. Uh, I you know, I did direct mail for auto dealers. So I used to always send the lady answering the phone. I would send her one of those little bed, bath and beyond baskets. You know, hey, thanks for answering all those calls you got last week. I know it was it was, you know, trying. Uh, you know, make your hands feel a little better and, you know, maybe enjoy a, a you know, a, a hot bath on me, you know, and give her the bath balls and the thing, you know, whatever. It's it's just good business. So um, let's, uh, let's, uh, all right, cool, let's, uh, let's move to the next thing here. So um, shocking sales statistics that relate to follow-up, right? 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 2%. So Take that pressure off of you. You're not expected to walk in there and close something the first time. It takes follow-up. It takes constant contact. Another thing that's a little off the side of this, don't be one of those, I can tell you right now what's guaranteed failure, and that's the people that's going to try something two or three times and go, oh, it don't work. Don't walk into three people. People buy my automotive course, right? They go into their brother, sister, cousin, former roommates, uncle that, that he works at a car dealer and they don't sell the deal the first time they're like oh that, that don't work you're not gonna you're not gonna build a business or sell a, a niche going into one or two places if you haven't walked into 50 to 100 of them you're still a rookie and just tasting the ice cream you're not eating it so you got to go in multiple 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 times but take that pressure off of you to know two percent of sales are made on the first contact Here, here's, here's something even more astounding 3% of sales are made on the second contact. 5% of sales are made on the third. 10% on the fourth. 80% of the sales are made from the fifth to twelfth contact. So you've so, got to build rapport. You've got to get into Go ahead. Yeah, so let, let's say you have the option. Um, e either targeting 500 businesses and only make one contact or you target 100 business and you make five contacts. Where are the most uh, success rate? Where are you the, the most chance that you get business? Right, I that agree. Is, that, is, that is, I think, I got those questions all the time with Lead Finder Jack. You know, I don't get that many emails or, or business, what they, what they say, you know. No, but you got the target, you got the hot ones, you got the best of the best. And that is the same logic. If you have a list of 500 businesses from your city or whatever and you of course you are everybody's limited in time it is a better approach to to go after fewer business but make multiple contacts and then to go to all the all the business and only have one contact so that I think that is a if you understand that that how it works and, and those numbers are real from SIT that from the 5th to the 12th 80% are successful then um, 
you want to focus on um, on multiple contacts instead of more contacts from yep. different businesses. And I totally agree. With saying that, also, and I'm sure everybody's maybe done this in life, you, you walk into one client and the guy just doesn't want to hear what you're saying, does is not interested in what you got, and it really is it's like too cold for you to penetrate. Don't be afraid to say next. You're not you don't have to convert everyone, but you want to give everybody a good follow up. That not everybody is gonna be open arms. You you can you know you you can cut bait and go to the next person because somebody's gonna need exactly what you're offering at that time and it's gonna work out for you. And you're you're gonna build a rapport and you're gonna enjoy doing business with them. You don't want to hire you know, I, I, I think of clients as like bosses in a way. You don't want to hire a bad boss, right? Because they're not, it's not even worth whatever you're charging them. It's just not worth stressing your life out like that. you got the ultimate freedom of entrepreneurship. Don't kill yourself with a bunch of, you know, high-demanding, un, unrealistic people, right? Don't be afraid to say next. You probably wouldn't have wanted the deal anyway. When, I, when I started off the um, Internet business, I had to learn... Uh, that not each business fits with my skill level, with the service I want to provide. So, yeah. so you, that comes back again. You want to go after certain niche, so you can, um, you can make all the market material and all the fulfillment for that. You want to build up a skill level, and also, uh, you want to go after business who has a marketing budget. Who are, are in business? You know, I hate to say it, but starting a business is typically not a good one because every one hundred dollar count for them. They 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 might not even break even. So you want to go after those established businesses who is a service in place, who uh, makes profit, who has a marketing budget, and where you can help them to make more money. The the the, uh, the the cookie cookie cutter ideal pet peeve case that I that I can't stand and I'll just walk from a deal in a second is if somebody's like, listen, Sid, you know we're, we've had a real bad year or we've had a real bad last two years and and this is I can't tell you how much this has just got to work because we're gonna go out of business for that and I'm like hold on a second, bro, <laughs> if your business is so struggling over the last two years. It, it, it's there's more problems than than me coming in here saving your business. I'm bringing the opportunities. I'm not I'm not running your business. You know what I mean? So you know, make sure you're not you know trying to save a fire sale because they're not going to pay you what you're worth anyway. Know what you're worth. Know what you're bringing in. Tell them you know if I bring you in five percent, break it down and let them see the dollar values of what you're worth, right? And uh, so it'll help you. It'll help you close the deal. So talking about follow up, uh, one last thing. So 80% of sales are made on the fifth to twelfth contact, and you're only gonna you're gonna be in the top 12% of salespeople following up fifth to the twelfth. So that tells you one thing: if you're not that salesperson, if you're not the the slicked back, fast talker, you know, type salesperson, if you just do a good quality follow up with thank you cards, emails, are are stopping by, and if you properly follow up your clients five to twelve times. Congratulations, you're in the top 12% of the class. That feels good, I think. I think that, uh, that, that that's a good thing to know when looking at numbers. This ain't speculation, this is fact. So, one thing I always tell my people and, and my groups and stuff, and, and some of you might laugh, but it's the truth, and, and we'll go over it here. Um, when you wake up tomorrow morning, you need to decide who you are and what you want to be. And it's okay because there's both, there's both people. My father, he was a sheep all his life. He worked for AT&T, retired with a pension, died young, overworked himself to death, gave us a great life coming up, never really hung out with dad much, but he, 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 you know, worked his, he worked himself to death. He was a workaholic. But he worked as a sheep. He never, he never led the... He never led the, led the, led the troops. You know what I mean. He probably did in small venues, but he wasn't a wolf. There is a lot of sheep out there that want to be told what to do and 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 just follow the path and don't 
get out there and, and be individuals. Don't be afraid to be an individual. Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to, to say what you, what you believe in and have others criticize you for it. You should love criticism because when you do get criticized, you're eventually going to get hated. And that's going to make haters, and that means you're doing something right. Because people are envious to wolves. They're envious to people that can stand out there by themselves and say, this is what you do, and this is how you do it, and this is how I'm doing it. Laugh at me all you want, sucker, but check out my banking account. You know what I mean? You've got to get that mindset. You've got to have that confidence and that, that drive and that, that thinking and that, that, that idea in your head. You got, once you see how something works, you've got to go with it and believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and know what you're doing and be yourself and don't let other people's judgments and hey you know we've been taught all our lives be quiet settle down quit speaking we're gonna have quiet time screw that be loud be who you are say your opinions and voice them and and, and if those t people that can't accept you for the way you are they don't deserve to be in your life so I hope tomorrow when you wake up you decide to be a wolf if you're not already so that's a mindset. Hey, so I saw uh, one person, I forgot, I, did, I forgot the name already, that said she works all the time, right? There you go, buddy. Nathan, I'm a wolf. Hell yeah. So she works all the time. She has a hard time following up. So let's, uh, oh, yeah, don't forget, 80% of life, showing up. Woody Allen, great guy. And that's, that's uh, Big Sid right there. That's me putting up the boots. <laughs> so... Um, Let's, uh, let's talk about something real quick, and I'm going to show you something. I think you like it. A lot of you might have uh, you know, been emailed a hundred times because we did launch this week. I'm going to show you something that I do and uh, something that I have um, that's going to work, especially for you that, that works a lot, right? Or for you that have cold calling, cold feet. You, uh, a lot of you probably get it. Even great salespeople are like, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that cold calling after I eat breakfast. Yeah, well, you know, I need to finish up this laundry, and then I'm going to do those cold callings. And then you're like, well, I'll go meet my friend and then go eat some lunch, and then maybe after lunch I'll, I'll, I'll get to those cold callings. You get cold calling cold feet. And, and the reason why is we're hardwired to, to hate rejection, right? I mean, who likes to ask somebody on a date and be told no, right? <laughs> who likes to, you know, call somebody and they go, dude, I don't want your crap. Quit wasting my time. Hang up. You know what I mean? Nobody... Nobody likes that, right? Nobody wants to be rejected. Now, if you practice your cold calling, it, it will, it, it's not quantity, it's quality. You will get better at it, and you won't have people rejecting you because you'll be making friends. But who has that cold calling cold feet? Just just put in the uh, questionnaire box real quick. Who has it? Cold calling cold feet. Anybody? Of course, right? It's, it's typical, all right? All right, you're going to love me. And I do too sometimes, Ryan. I'm the, uh, you know, sometimes I'm just like, damn, I don't really want to go in there and talk to that guy. Or I'll pull into a dealership and go, ah, they got a lot of work vans. These guys probably don't do very, you know, you're giving yourself <laughs> freaking excuses, you know. But, you know, it's all attitude and mindset, trust me, all right. Um, how many of you have a full-time job? You truly just don't have time. You got commitments. You got your family. You got, you know, four years before you get your full pension. You're not going to walk away from that job. You know, or maybe you're making good money on your job and you pay your bills and, you know, you got your commitments and you just, your offline business isn't pushing enough revenue yet to, uh, to, 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 to justify, um, you know, quitting your job, right? How many of you are working full-time jobs? Yep, Jim. Okay. All right. A lot of you. I know. All right. How many of you... Um, uh, how many of you just don't feel comfortable talking about your business to people? I, I have a lot of coaching students, and, and I hear that. I, I don't understand it at all. But sometimes people, you know, they just don't like talking about business, right? Or uh, the worst one is, you know, how many people have bought one product, two product, three products, and they just didn't freaking work? <laughs> like, this guy's told you a hundred times, make a million dollars for for $47, spend $47 with me, you'll make a million dollars and be a millionaire in two years and drive a Lambo, right? And it just didn't work. Bunch of bull crap out there, right? Because they're going off a theory. They're like, man, I bet that might would work, right? It's, it's, bull, it's bull crap, man. So anyways, um, 
here's 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 what I like. Here's the different. How many of you'd rather have this? Uh, would what, there's two different kinds of calls, right? You can have this guy. A lot of people recognize him, I'm sure. Hey, do you want to call on people and ask them for 30 minutes of their time so I can show you what I have to offer? And they look at you just like this guy, right? Uh, sure, I guess. No, come back later, right? They give you the the bull crap. Or would you rather have this guy? I love what you have. When 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 can you come meet me with uh for 30 minutes, right? Here I'm gonna I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna actually um let me uh, hold on. I'm gonna look something up real quick on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to let you hear something cool. Oops. Human. What do you know? Um, check this out. How many of you want this? Obviously, I edited out his phone number because I, you know, I don't want people calling one of my coaching students' clients. But that was a car dealer in the Northeast, Boston. Super A-type personality. Super, I ain't got time for you. This guy blows out ten people a day out of his office and ain't got time for him. And he called one of my coaching students. Now, a lot of you said you're just not the salesy types. Would you feel, would it scare you to talk to that guy? Would you want to call that guy back and tell him what you got? Put in the question box, I need some, I need some interaction here. Right? You'd get on the horn and talk to that guy in a second, wouldn't you? So, you're busy? No, no, you wouldn't call him back? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, the guy said the guy the guy said he contacted him twice and I'm gonna show you how. Alright, everybody's like, hell yeah, I would call him back. Of course you would. Because that's a better that's a better uh that's a better that's a better contact, right? Not hey, can I have thirty minutes of your time? Yeah, what do you got? It's hey man, I love what you got. That was brilliant. You set apart from anybody I've talked to. When can you come meet me for thirty minutes? Right, so you don't have to be a salesman, and if you could get ten or twenty of those a month, would that change your uh, business? If you could get ten or twenty of those quality conversations um, a, a month, could you start filling your pipeline and your funnel and and start really driving some revenue towards where you want to be successful? Of course you could, right? How many of you want to know how to do it? You want me to show you? I'm going to show you. Real world students, Todd Friedman, Boston Mass, the guy that that call came from. 18 inbound calls from his chosen niche, car business. He closed two deals totaling five grand last month. Out of the gate, he's making 60000 a year. TV followed the system. I don't have him listed here. He's in Dallas. He followed the system also with car dealers. He also does, I think, some dentist. He... I wish I wouldn't have said his name. The guy didn't have a car three months ago. The guy's the guy's billing ten thousand a month now because he got opportunities. I Andrea Chen, Long Island, New York, has been buying products from one of my business partners, Brian Anderson, for two and a half years. Never ever was you know got the Kahuna's to cold call. She had ten inbound calls and is closing business now. Last month, Mark Savage, the gentleman that actually wrote this. Are, are, are brought this this program to me has hundreds of inbound calls and closing business every day 
you can it's perfect for any country it does work in any country we have it set up for the United States you can change around a couple things and, and I'll show you that it's it's off it's good for any product you're offering whether it's PPC AdWords search social media reputation mar mobile marketing direct mail which is what I do a lot of it, it works for all of them okay it requires one hour a week does everybody have one hour a week put in the question box I want to know if you got an hour you could spend an hour to get 15 or 20 of those calls okay of course everybody it works great for newbies or experts either way it it, it brings in a in a, in a in a call right you, you, you know both of you need those it has business owners in your niche calling you you're not out shooting in the dark doing the shotgun approach trying to hope that you can maybe land at a client right you only take calls from people raising their hands saying hey I'm interested tell me more no brainer right somebody said what type of budgets needed I'm gonna go into that I, I know maybe some of you maybe been mailed about the Savage Cycle it's been a huge launch this week I, I'm gonna actually show you more than any call yet I'm, I'm going further for Jack I'm gonna show you a lot of it um, this is Jack's link if you want to do it it's seventeen dollars if you want the in and outs exactly how to do it um, th for seventeen dollars you're gonna get that there's an upsell for thirty seven where you can actually get the actual copy written letters that we've used for six different niches uh, contractors auto uh, medical uh, a generic one roofing and something else restaurants I think okay it'll have all six niches all right 37 bucks you get the actual copyright so if you're not a copywriter spend 37 bucks and use the ones that have been proven we've, we've used them day in and day out for the last six eight months seventeen dollars you'll get the exact how but I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of it and show you right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you kind of the gist of it the first the first angle yes everything's guaranteed if, if it doesn't work take your seventeen bucks back I don't want your money I don't think Jack would want your money either but I'm telling you it does work <laughs> it works gangbusters and you know anyways Dude, this is a two hundred dollar course all day I just didn't we just we chose not to take that route and, and wanted to get a bunch of people involved so the first one is a bank bag that you'll mail out with something to the fact of hey help let me help you fill more of these bank bags every month you need to know how call me now Sid Michael six seven eight whatever your number is right the second process we send a compass hey find your way back to bigger profits don't get lost before you before you hear what I've got to say that type of headline the last one we send these little mini trash cans you actually wad up the letter and stick it in the trash can it's really cool um, we'll mail that out and it'll say you know hey don't throw our relationship away before you hear what I got to say and here's the hammer and this works really well in the US I know the phones are a little bit more expensive elsewhere I found the phones and we share with you exactly where and how to get them for five bucks they come with 20 minutes you mail them a pre pre powered up cell phone with your number already dialed into it that says hey man you might have lost your phone but use mine press send send and we'll talk we've done we, we teach our coaching students to go after 40 people in a niche so you take a 40 block you scrape out 40 40 businesses we did it with uh, the jack tracker last last time we were on the, it works well um, we, we go after 40 people in the in the niche or the block um, and we've had up to 40 percent response so that was 16 callbacks just off of the 40 people um, that's a way that's a, that's a way that's a way to actually get some calls people want people want to know how can I get calls I'm, I'm at work blah 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 for $17 that's how you do it if you want to uh, if you want to actually check it out right there is the uh, the uh, the link I highly recommend it I have every one of my coaching students doing it it works you want to take your business to the next level this is how you do it Jack you want to put that uh, link into the chat so everybody can just click on it 
Jack, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. It's thirty-seven dollars, Ryan. If you want all the if you want all the letters, it's only thirty-seven dollars. Put that put that link just real quick. If they want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, we're still going to talk about sales and and whatnot. I just I just wanted to offer it because honestly, I think it's the best seventeen dollars you'll spend out of anything I've seen offered. In fact, I guarantee it. If it ain't, ask for a refund. I'll give you your money back. Yeah. Um already a lot of my members barked it and I only get good feedback from it so um, I'm, I'm telling you right now when when I brought it to Brian Anderson and said hey man you know let me show you some stuff he was like wow and then we started implementing in our coach group because we test things you know we're not gonna we're not gonna launch theories right it is gangbusters if you're prop if you're going after high high-end prospects it's even better you know, like car dealers or dentists or attorneys or anything that's hard to penetrate, this right here is how you get recognized and noticed. And it also helps you when you are not still full-time uh, marketer that you want to have a system that you can prospect without going five times to driving to the businesses. So it helps you a lot of time with time saving, with money saving. But the bottom line, what I like from this system is, because a lot of my members, they have still less than two, three clients, and bottom line, you need you need clients to earn money, and this system helps you to get there. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it's a no-brainer. If you if you want if you want um if you want uh, businesses calling you, if you want to have the you know if you want a a, a a proven guaranteed way that'll start filling that funnel for you. Here's here's what you do. Um, you could sell anything. I don't care if you sell two socks, t-shirts, or cans of dip. It doesn't matter. This will generate calls. Now, I would recommend going into some sort of niche or you know or providing a service that you know pays handsomely. I wouldn't be going out trying to attack florist because if you sell them an additional four bouquets of flowers a month, it's not going to justify any sort of monthly revenue, right? So I would go after a thousand. A month plus clients. Automotive, our average client in automotive is over six thousand a month reoccurring. So, you know, for for us to spend, you know, thirty bucks to mail out, you know, twenty mailers is a no brainer. It lands one deal. It pays for itself thousand fold. And there's other inexpensive ways. You don't have to do the phone. The phone works nice. It, it costs you two dollars and seven cents to mail that. It costs you five dollars for the phone. So that's seven dollars. You, you're going to find you're getting more callbacks before you even even actually get to the phone part. But you're going to you know so you're not going if you do a forty block you're not going to send out forty phones because you're not going to have that many people by the end. But um, it, it, you know you can use other things. Some people send a, a piece of carpet or a piece of rug and says hey don't get walked all over. Don't get walked on like a rug. Let me get your reputation in the back back in the right standing type. Thing, so so uh, you might have seen this uh, offer uh, with more marketers but I'm convinced I'm giving you the best bonuses and let me summarize them I have I didn't put them on the screen but um, so what I will give you as bonus is I'm going to um, reveal with you what are the best niches to go after I was on a call on Skype with Brian Anderson and he specified which niches, which the members had the most success. So you get eight niches where it has been proved to work, this system, okay? I'm also going to reveal which niches don't work. So now you're not, not wasting your money and not wasting your time. Then the third, um, the third option, or the third bonus is for all the buyers, we're going to go back with sit on the call and we're going to train you this system, okay? We're going to go more in detail how the system really works. So you, you know you don't only have the product, but you also will help you to implement it. Then the fourth, the fourth bonus is I'm going to show you how you can scrape all those contacts with a software tool that's very affordable. It's only $37 and you will all had have all that context uh, to your access very easy in the previous webinar I showed 
Uh, I demoed the uh, software's lead finder jack. It's only $37. And I'm going to show you for each niche how you can get those contacts. Then there are two more uh, bonuses. One is a role play for a plumber, and one is for a role play uh, with a uh, locksmith. So then you get also trained how to do those phone calls, uh, uh, phone calls conversations. So that will help you to implement because I see a lot of bonuses which are not related or you're not going to use. This product with my bonuses, you really get, get to the next level. No brainer. So who's excited knowing that they can follow up five to 12 times and put themselves in the top 12% of salespeople? Does that take a little bit of pressure off of some of you, knowing that just by using the, the correct tactics and the correct uh, follow-up strategies, it, it actually puts you in the, in the lead, puts you in the top of the class? I think that's awesome, right? So you need to start thinking how you're going to take care of your, your funnel of business, right? You need to start thinking, you know, how am I going to follow up? How am I going to get in touch with people? How am I going to let them know? Thanks for, for taking your time. I'd love to, you know, uh, you know, meet with you again and start pushing to the next, uh, to the next thing. Um, Jack, let's read some, uh, some questions real, real quick. Um, hey, by, by the way, also with this, for $17, you get five training videos. I show you exactly how to put together everything. And then also you get two webinars with, with, uh, with me and Brian, and we, we show you how to set up your campaign. We're not going to let you t get this and then forget about it. We hold people accountable. We're going we're gonna to show you uh, live on those webinars how to set up your campaigns. We're going to make sure you tweak your letters to work with what you're presenting, and you know we're going we're gonna to hold your hand through the whole thing. We're going to make sure it works. I mean, honestly, man, when I say 200 bucks, I'm probably underselling it. I, I mean, $17, come on. You know we don't get rich off of 17 bucks. It, this is a... Uh, I have people that paid me thousands in coaching to, to learn this, but it's a chance to get it for a small fee now. Um, I see another question here. One more question. When following up, uh, we are the basics we need to bring for presentation. Um, I, I'm a little bit different. I don't actually do presentations. I, 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 if I had to pitch a room of 10 GMs, I would maybe bring a PowerPoint. But here's the truth about a presentation. Listen, because this is the truth. Be ready to make halftime adjustment adjustments because any way you plan on pre presenting, it never goes that way. Somebody's going to say, I don't need this, but I need that. What's the price on it right now? And you're going to be like, whoa. You've got to be ready to roll with the punches because it's never going to go down the way that you scripted or the way you cookie cuttered or you know, the way you thought it was going to be or the way somebody told you it was going to happen. It ain't going to happen that way. If you're walking indoors and getting in front of people, it's different every time. That's why you got to love and be passionate about your product and know your product because you're going to be, you're going to be required and asked to, to talk about it in every direction. So you have, to, uh, you, have to, you have to be ready to do it. There is no cookie cutter presentations. Um, four mailers for each prospect, and let me tell you why. Um, it's a known fact in direct mail. The 300% the frequency, the third contact, will be the most responsive contact. I don't know why it is. It's just kind of the number. It's the stats. Um, what if you work full time? How do you handle incoming calls when you can't answer the calls live at, when you're at work? I would get a calling service. You can get those virtual calling services. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, <laughs> uh, Mark said, you're getting 6000 a month recurring. Could you explain how you're doing that? I sell automotive dealers, uh, search, social, reputation, and SMS. That's how we've got that. We've got several of them. Um, I personally, for the last nine years, have been selling direct mail. Way more than six grand. Six grand's a baby mailer. We do thirty and forty thousand dollar mailers for these dealers. Um, one person said. Um, so I, one person's handicap, which so is one of my coaching students, one of my best ones in Canada. She's a she's a strong arm. Um, it, she's in a, a wheelchair. She can't, you know, it's just hard for her to actually go get face to face. Get on the phone, man. You, you can use a webinar tool. You can show people via webinar. You know, you can make yourself, uh, uh, you know, likable 
in any way. The cool thing that I like about the phone, this is one thing that, that I really, really like, is the phone is a stage. You can be anybody you want. I used to sell computer hardware, and we would sit there and laugh and cut up and throw paper at each other. I'd have our feet up on the desk. I would get a phone call, and I'd be like, Sid Michael. And the guy would be like, hey, I need some uh, CD-ROMs. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. How many you need? Eight. No, ain't going to do eight. We got boxes of 24, and I'm not tearing a box over for you. You want 24 or not? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you're busy. Okay, give me the 24. Great. Okay. You're on a stage, man. You can be anybody you want. You're Gordon Gecko, right? You can be anybody you want on a phone. So don't be afraid to use the phone. No, you don't have to go belly up. Yes, it's good for you because it gets prospects to call you. That's good for all of us. Black, white, brown, handicap, or, or marathon runner. You want people to call you. So, um, hey, uh, Jack, you really need to put a clickable link in the chat. In the chat, not in the questions, in the chat. Okay. And that way they can uh, click on it. A lot of people are asking for it. Is this not clickable? Can any, anybody give feedback if it is clickable now? Only, only in the chat box. There you go. Yep. Okay. Um, yes, you do get a bonus through, oh, look, BJ Ocampo. Um, you do get a bonus, BJ, who's one of my favorite dudes in the world. He's in my course. He can vouch for who I am. Yeah, you, um, you're getting a special call through Jack's link. You're getting a, uh, we're doing a, uh, we're going to do some sales training and role playing. Yes. Uh, next week, right, Jack? Yes. Actually, uh, next uh, Wednesday. Wednesday we have planned. Yep. So it's, we, we next planned Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Yep. Next Wednesday at 8 o'clock, and then we're packing up and going to the uh, marketing mayhem the next day, right? You're going to be there too, right, Jack? Yeah, I'm going to that too. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, you don't want to miss Coolio, do you? <laughs> um. Uh, do you pitch more than one service at your presentation? Um, great, great question, uh, Nancy. Um, if, if I'm asked to come in and do a presentation of everything that I have, I, I like to group and bundle my products because a lot of times maybe they see a lot of value in SMS. They don't see so much value in reputation. But if they see it all as a bundled product, it can compensate for all of them. Plus, it kind of gets you more entrenched. However, if I'm cold calling and trying to open doors, do not confuse people with 25 products that you do. Have a good lead-in product, okay? Whatever you choose to do with a lead-in product, I, you know, everybody's got what they're passionate about, have a good lead-in product. I use a um, inventory syndication program that we have where we post uh, their dealership's inventory over hundreds of web pages or web, yeah, web pages on, online that's generating six and seven hundred calls a month for these dealers. I, I go in and, and lead with that because it shows results immediately and people love it. Um, all right, I see uh, everybody saying it's clickable. Um, see you, buddy. Um, thank you, Ed, if you've already got it. And, you know, this might not, you know, hopefully you got a little bit of training in the beginning of the call and, and all that stuff. Um, Okay, um, I don't see any other. Let's see. Okay, do you do you rec have any recommendations for SMS? Uh, not providing this, but just a mobile website as a as a lead-in product now. Um, I personally use Moby Bizbox. I don't know what do you use, Jack? Um, I'm I'm not an SMS person uh, really. My specialty is AdWords uh, mainly. Yeah. So. Uh, the date comes back to your niche and your specialty and of course there are so many SMS products out there and you can do it. All takes time. I, I, I feel I make good money with some specialties. So I know I know Jack and I just hadn't had a chance to really get together and do uh, anything with you know I, know I see some people asking about my auto, auto course or whatever. Jack and I will probably do a call sometime in the near future. If it's okay with you, Jack, if they contact me, I'll make sure uh, you and I both are okay with it. Is that cool? If, if yeah. Contact me about it. Okay. Just p just friend me on Facebook and send me a PM. Of those of you are asking about it, just send me a PM and, and remind me that you were on the phone with uh, me and Jack. That way, you know, 
guys, we you know this is part of our business too. So you want to make sure everybody gets you know what's due to them, and and you know we do do affiliate type stuff, and and uh, you know I wouldn't want to ever take anything and not not let Jack you know get his little piece for it because that's that's what he does, and he has a family too, you know. So uh, let's see what uh, let's see what. Uh, uh, so do you offer the listing service that I could offer to my auto dealers? Yes, friend me on Facebook, I'll show you. Um, how you know? I think Jack could take this lead Jack to the next level, dude. It's a it's a great software. He was showing last night, and uh, I saw some things that I really, really, really liked. Um, uh, do you have a replay for it? Hey, it, there's all I can tell you right now. This is so funny. A lot of people, <clears throat> I I can guarantee you, unless the replay fails. Jack, correct me if I'm wrong. Anything I do, and I'm pretty sure anything you do, unless something just happens to the replay, there's going to be a replay. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's always replays. We want you to hear it when you can, right? No, actually, go back actually last like, call, I was a little bit nervous because you, you came on the last half hour and you provided, like now, great content. And in the middle of the webinar, it... Um, it failed. It messed up, right? It messed up a little bit, but uh, the recording um, was still okay. But there uh, were several users on the call that uh, sent me uh, a link where I could uh, have the replay. So I don't want to mess up this call because there's so so much value. And uh, so. Uh, Sit uh, for the for scraping the content contact and uh, emailing the product is lead final jack, and for tracking the calls is lead tracker jack. So they sound same, but they fulfill another purpose. So what actually you need lead final jack to become in business to scrape the contacts to email them and to use sit system to do the multiple contacts. And once you have that fulfillment, when you need to do the fulfillment, when you have a paying client, you probably want to track the calls, uh, invoice them, and then you need lead tracker jack. So they belong together. Um, somebody, this is a great question again, Tracy. Are the bonuses only with the OTO only? Uh, no, I, not me. I mean, no, 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 yeah, you have but, yeah, but the, no brainer. Actually. But the bonuses, uh, you get them just for seventeen dollars, and I, I, I'm convinced, the bonuses, each of them are more worth than seventeen dollars. So you get high value, you get the product itself, but the bonuses, with the replay about the, the the role play about plumbers, about about locksmith, about which niches works, which you have to avoid, you know, the training. It's so much more worth than the seventeen dollars that you pay for. Yeah, the uh, the two the two webinars and and uh, um, in in the uh, in the in the in the OTO is very strong, but the two webinars is where the real value is, I think, because we're going to make sure you can uh, you can get on it. Ed Ed, I, um, I'd love to help you, man. Uh, Sounds like you got good good intentions in life, and and uh, I, I love to to watch people get out of their comfort zone and make things happen. So, um, all right. So I want to respect everybody's time. We did that in under uh, seventy minutes. I'm actually going to a concert to, uh, tonight with a with a good friend of mine. She, she wants to go see Blake Sheldon. So that's where I'm uh, running off to. I don't know if anybody knows Blake Sheldon or not, but. Um, so make sure you click on the link so at least you have that and then uh, check out the sales page I know you get a uh, good value from the product itself but my bonuses are more worth than the seventeen dollars I got I got so many people buying the product because they want my bonuses so yeah Jack you're, you're laying out the you're laying out huge bonuses here good. I want I want you guys to become successful um, so let me summarize the bonus one more time, okay? The yes. first bonus is you, we provide you a system, but it also helps you to know which niches to go after. So we, I provide you a list from eight niches which 
uh, has proven to work and is based on more than 50 uh, beta tests and Brian shared me that info. It also, I also will list which niches you want to avoid. They have not proven to work and you don't want to waste your time on it. Then the third is we're going to do an extra webinar. How to implement with SIT and all more sales training to get this implemented in your business, okay? To make you successful. The fourth is I have a product which is $37 and I'm going to show you, it's called Lead Finder Jack. I'm going to show you how you can scrape all the contact information, how you can get 100 good contacts which you want to go after to implement this, okay? It's very easy. It's not a $97 product, it doesn't come with recurring fee, it's just $37 and I'm going to show you how to, how to uh, scrape those information so you have that, okay? At your fingers, you just export that information, you put them on the, on the, on the envelopes and you are done, okay? Because you are limited in time. Then the fifth option is, the fifth bonus is, is you're going to get a an, an role play replay about locksmith. So, so we're going to train you how to uh, convert uh, an, an, some uh, locksmith client. And the last bonus is a role play about um, plumber. So that will help you to um, to implement this. Okay, this those are not. Not that those are related products, those are high value, each of, each of them is, is high value. Much more worth than the $17. If you already bought via my link, you all get these bonuses. I've added some bonus uh, later on. Nice. So if you use my link, you have to use my link to get this, okay? I cannot give every, everybody those bonuses. No brainer, if you ask me. All right, Jack. Uh, okay. With respect, Thanks. respect of everybody's time, man, we're under under an hour and fifteen minutes. Thank you so much for uh, having me on. I look forward to uh, doing that bonus next Wednesday with you, and uh, I'll see you down in Orlando, man. Thanks, uh, Sid. Yes, sir. Thank you. And thanks everybody for uh, coming on this call. Okay. Thank you. See you guys. See you.